remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? In a story that could only be told on social media, a groupie claims to have traveled to Houston, Texas to see a couple of trending local rappers named Summers and Deuce. She further claims that she spent all of her money to do so. Upon arriving, the guys ran a train on her and promptly kicked her out of the house. As the events unfolded and things further escalated, the groupie took to social media to ask her viewers to send her money through Cash App so she could get back home. She was crying and carrying on and she was saying things like, be lucky I don't call the police on him, blah, 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 blah. Apparently someone called the police because they showed up and took her straight to jail but not without a struggle. Oh yeah, she was tossing and turning and I thought she was gonna start kicking and spitting. This is a cautionary tale on both sides. Let's start with the groupie. Ladies, don't you ever in your life get on a plane, a train, a bus, a scooter, a skateboard, or inside of a car and leave your house to go visit some out of town cats, let alone having sex with them. You can easily find yourself folded up inside of a suitcase or in a 100 gallon drum dead. Not a good idea at all. Not a good idea at all. She's lucky she's alive. The other side of that, flip side of that coin, is for the guys. I would not advise running a train on no woman. Especially these days. See, that's, that, but that's something that youngsters do. I ain't gonna lie. You know, that's something that, you know, a lot of times youngsters do because, you know, you, you know you're young, you know, you're trying, you, you, you're exploring, you know, sex stuff, you're exploring, you're trying to see what's, what, what you like and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you think it's cool, I'm running a train, ah, you know, that's, that's the thing to do, that's what guys do, right? You get older and you realize how corny that is. I mean, really, it is really corny. Uh, I got past it in my 20s. I was like, ah, man, this is kind of corny, right? So, one of the biggest things is that I don't need no dude, you know, looking at me and all that kind of stuff, you know, like that, you know, and I don't, you know, it, it's it's unsanitary, you know, like, you know, going behind a dude, you know, even with rubbers, you know, it's just, nah, you know, like, you know, it's not, I don't want to be graphic, it's just not, it's not a good, it's not a good look, right? But beyond that, you know, beyond the aroma and the optics and all of that stuff, uh, consider when you do something like that and the woman, the girl has regrets. And she decides that she wants some revenge. This happens a lot. This, something similar to this happened uh, in the Tupac situation with the rape against Tupac. You know, the rape charges against Tupac. Dudes run a train on a girl. The main dude that she with break out, leave her, or leave those dudes with that woman and then maybe she was down, maybe she wasn't in any event. Whoever she came to see, that's who is responsible for her well-being. That's who is responsible for her safety. So 
if a woman come to see you, you better make sure that you get her, that, that she leave in the same condition that she came. If you, if there's any type of sexual activity, you better believe, you better make sure that you get her off into a safe place and make sure she's okay. Check on her. Call her when she get to where she's going. Make sure she's okay. That'll go a long way into some woman who's sitting back thinking, trying to be vindictive, because some of them do it on purpose. Some of them will actively participate in a train and all of that stuff. And then afterwards, they feel in some type of way and, and they want to they wanna try to get a bag out of it. You know, they want to try to bring somebody down or whatever. So you got to watch these type of chicks. They're out there. You'll have a woman out there that'll actually participate, be all the way down, and then her whole plan all along was to get somebody caught up. And if you're the money guy, you're the one going to get caught up. Tupac was the money guy. He wasn't even in the room when all of this is supposed to be going on. But yet, after these guys run a train on the woman, she called Tupac name. She go down to security and call Pac name. Pac ain't even nowhere in the room. But he get the blame, and he's the only one ended up getting charged and convicted and going to prison because he was the name behind it. He had the brand. Run a train on a woman if you want to. Kick out the way these dudes did. And almost certainly, you're going to hear from her again. But first, you're going to hear from a detective. Or you're going to hear from the DA. I'm telling you. If you are going to go that route, I say leave it alone. It ain't worth it. It's just not worth it. It's too dangerous. It's, it's just too many ways you can get caught up running a train on a chick. It's too, many, too many ways to get caught up. But if you do go that way, there's two ways to go. First and foremost, you need to be a porn star. Y'all sign contracts, you got the cameras rolling, you got cut, you got a director, you got producers, you got catering and all that stuff. Other than that, if you are going to take this into consideration at all, you need to make sure that every step of the way you hold her hand, you damn near need to like literally be holding her hand like, you all right, baby? You know, they ain't too bad, being too rough on it. You know, hey, okay, you good, baby? Some dude trying to be a little too, hey man, ease up, bro. Hey, 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 ease up. You know, you gotta, you better hold her hand all the way through it. And you better not kick her out. You better make sure, even if she is a hoe, you have better treat her like a lady. Because if you don't, she might turn on you. And if she turn on you, she is going to make your life a living hell. Ain't nothing like being dragged into a courtroom and being accused of rape against someone that you know was a willing participant. It might seem like it's easy to defend, but that is very, very hard to do. Now, I understand that everybody is going to do what they want to do. But if you decide to go that route, don't say I didn't warn you. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?